Hey, it's your girl Crystal, back with another video. I've been doing a lot of thinking on this one. This is a property out in Columbia County, uh, city of Grosstown, Georgia. Literally one of the hottest areas uh, in the Augusta area or the surrounding areas of Augusta. But um, I did some thinking. I decided to sell this property. And um, I mean, it's a seller's market. So I'm pretty sure I'll make a good profit from it um, i'm gonna show you you guys a video or walkthrough of it but before we start i want to show you like the one up of this property from the outside hold on first i'm gonna show you the house let me show you the house it's a cute little single family it was my first home that i ever purchased the one up about it is i mean it kind of just falls on you i didn't like a lot of yard it was just me and my daughter at the time so it's a lot easier for me to manage. The one up is there's the police officer. He lives right here next to me. And then if you can see, I'm gonna try to zoom in. There's another one way over there. There's one down the street, you can't see him. This green car and that truck is blocking. But there's another one down there. Kind of show you neighbor's house across the street. There's another police officer down this way too, around the corner. So it's pretty safe. I didn't have any issues. Like I said, it was really quiet. My daughter was friends with everybody. So everybody knew everybody in this area. They're very family oriented, which is a really good thing and is really rare to find nowadays. I know the neighborhood I'm in now, over in Hepsiba, Georgia, it's, uh, yeah it's a lot of retirees not a lot of kids so this area is really good for uh family but um uh, let me show you the house hold on fix my camera okay this is it this door i'm gonna repaint i don't know i think i need like a brighter color some type of red to make it pop these tenants were pretty good. I didn't have any issues. Let me leave the door open. Okay. This is the foyer. I was a fan of these floors. Wall. I went with beige in this house. I'm gonna change it. I don't know if you can tell, like the painter I hired did a horrible job. I don't know if you can see the discoloration right here, but it's kind of like all throughout the house. I'm gonna have to repaint. Okay. It's the foyer. This is just a storage area under the stairs. There's some type of red stain up there. I see that. I'm gonna have that repainted. I might do this, this one myself. Has anybody ever like painted their own home instead of like hiring somebody let me know like any type of tips just drop them in the comment box for me but here's the living room pretty decent size i just got this fan installed in here not too long ago and it comes with a remote right here here's the kitchen like I said, I used to love this home when I first got my home. I think I was 26 when I purchased this home. It was just me and my daughter. It was the perfect size. Little did I know, I was four weeks pregnant with my son. <laughs> but it, it still fit us because this is a three bedroom. So little did I know, I had another bedroom for a kid. So it worked out. This is the half bath downstairs. Let me see the floors. See, look at this. I don't know if y'all can see that. Look how that's two different freaking colors. The guy who painted this house really, sorry for the, the bad wording, but he really half assed me bad so kind of got ptsd and i'm kind of thinking about just painting it myself 
They left these huge nails in the wall. I don't know why. And they come out easily. That's a good thing. Now let me tell you guys about this living room. So, oh, let me fix my camera. If you guys seen my previous video on the home that I live in now in Hepzibah, I did a wooden accent wall in that house. So I did a little research and I found out, um, what is it? Uh, you can get your uh, house appraisal increased if you do a wooden accent wall. A wooden accent wall or if you add a fireplace. So I've been kind of talking with my husband. I want to do one of the two. So I'm thinking about doing the accent wall just because it's going to be a little easier. I still want to do like my own fireplace, but I'm going to, I'm probably going to do that at the other property, but this one, I kind of just want to get on the market, do like minor renovations and get it sold and from up under me as soon as possible. So this is what I want to show you and you guys' opinion. This right here, what you call it? It's like a border. We're going to call it a border, but this goes all the way around the room. I think that looks a little like outdated to me. I don't know, but I want to do an accent wall on this entire wall. And what I want to do is remove the frame that's going through the center of the wall. And we're going to go back after we remove it. Of course, take out the nails or whatever they have that that's holding it. And then um, we're going to go back, sand it, and then I want to paint it. Not this wall, of course, because this wall is where the wooden accent wall is going to go. But these walls, like I said, I want to take the framing off of this two, these two walls, sand it, and then paint it. And then, like I said, this wall right here is going to be a wooden accent wall. This is the color I chose. Me and my husband had a huge debate on this color green. I chose this one. This is what they wrote on it when I went to go get a sample. Softened green. He feels like, and you guys let me know, he feels like because that's not a color that you normally see, it's going to affect me selling the property. Now it's the seller's market and it's houses are selling like crazy here. So in my opinion, I don't think a color as soft as this, as you can see, it doesn't even look that much different from this beige. Hold on, let me see. I feel like if I add this color, like I said, this wall is going to be a wooden accent wall. And I add this green, I think it's going to look good. I think it's really going to look good with a wooden accent wall. But he doesn't want me to change it. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. And before we go upstairs, let's go in the back. It is a beautiful day. I love, love, love the fall. So this door, I'm gonna repaint. Like, let me zoom in. You see that? Like there's scrapes and stuff along the door, the frame. Just sand it into a fresh coat of white. But this is the outside. Those are the neighbors. That's the police officer I was telling you about. And it's a cute little deck. Let me see. Perfect for, I mean, you can grill. You're sitting up high. There's a good breeze up here. A little privacy as far as like behind you. I think it's like a river or creek or something back there. But it's a decent sized yard. Like I said, it's perfect for a single family home. And I can take you downstairs. I mean, you can put something underneath the stairs. There's a lot of shade in the back. Like, I don't know, you can be kind of creative with that. It has an extra storage space back here and I freaking left the keys <laughs> upstairs. But I mean, it doesn't have an actual flooring. It's uh, it's made of 
it still has a soft bottom like it's uh sand or not sand dirt i guess it doesn't have actual flooring in it but i mean if somebody chose to buy this property that's something that they can add to it and of course it add value because it'd be kind of like a basement if you add insulation and everything inside of it let's go back inside show you upstairs oh it also has this on the back door and the front door it was an alarm system i had so if they chose to do that i just kept all of that here and got new equipment when i moved so let's go upstairs Oh, no, wait, hold on. Forgot to show y'all the kitchen. Why y'all like to say nothing? <laughs> Do the slow-mo, cause you know it's women. We love the kitchen. <laughs> That's literally the most important room for me. So let me back up some. But like I said, it's cute. I even left a good refrigerator in here. Matter of fact, I need to switch this out, y'all. I think I paid like three grand for this fridge. But you know, if a buyer is willing to pay good money for it, they can definitely have it. <laughs> Has a bottom freezer. Extra storage space. It's pretty good. But zoom in of everything. Good look. Like I said, it was pretty cute. Pretty cute. I had lights up here. It looked like they pulled them down. Like this usually doesn't hang like this, but I'll fix it. Okay. Cute little island. Marble countertops is a must. Okay. This right here is the garage. Let's open that up. I think this is the white for it. Yep. So I don't know whether to do something with these floors or kind of just sell it as is. But that's just some of the paint that me and the previous owner kind of left. No major issues with it. Other than like I said, like the um the floors, but do people really care about that? I don't know. I really don't, but others might. No issues with the garage. Let's go upstairs now. And the first doors to the right is going to be the laundry room. Look at that. Look at the paint, y'all. Look at the paint. Like, really? And I was in Savannah, so I didn't see it until it was too late. And the tenants were supposed to move in. It's pretty nice in here. They did a good job of really keeping the property up. That's the remote to the fan in here as well. Carpet looks pretty good. I'm debating if I want to keep this carpet. This is a really nasty thing right here. Other than that, this thing. I don't know you guys. Should I take it out and then try to list it? This is the master bathroom. Decent. The best part about the master 
was the closet. The closet was huge. It's a pretty decent size, pretty decent size. It was literally like a whole small bedroom. I hope y'all don't hear me <laughs> smacking on this dog. If you do, I apologize. Okay, let's turn these lights. Okay, you go farther down. This is the towel closet. Towel closet. This is the second bathroom. Again, you can tell the horrible job he did. I still can't believe he did that. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, just admit that and let me hire somebody else that does. It's that simple. Everywhere. Like, I'm gonna have to spend more money in order to paint everything. Standing on the carpet up here. This is one of the bedrooms. The second one. I painted this one gray. Because the owner, previous owner, had this weird lime green color in here. And I was just like, negative. Negative. This one I kept, it was blue. That's kind of when I found out that I was pregnant with my son. So that kind of worked out. Close it. My camera's not focusing. There you go. Pretty decent size closet. Okay. That's about it for this home. When I make another video, it's gonna look different. Still debating if I wanna rip up this carpet up front or would it still sell for a decent amount if I don't mess with it and I kinda just focus on the downstairs area. But y'all let me know what you think like i said i'm going to do i'm going to rip out this carpet in the living room and i'm going to try to find this whatever this is looks like vinyl but i'm gonna see if i can find it in lowe's and rip it up i'm gonna try to pull this up and take a, this a piece of this to lowe's and see if i can match it and we're going to bring it all the way into this living room to remove this carpet. Like I said, we're going to take this border framing off all the walls in the living room. And we're going to make this a wooden accent wall. Oh, like I said, we're also going to paint the front door another color. Like I said, I was thinking, well, it's about the front door. I'm thinking about painting it, like I said, some type of red, like a... Not a dark, dark red, but not a Ferrari red at the same time. I don't know yet. We'll figure something out, but kind of get you guys to run down. What's today? I think today is September 20th. No. What's today? September 21st. So... I'm trying to give myself like a two week timeline to pull all of this off. But if you guys see something else, you think you got a better idea of what, you know, I should do with this home or there was something that I said that you don't think would be good. Really let me know how you feel about that green paint. I'm finna do a paint sample actually on this wall in a few. And I'm going to take off the framing on the wall before I leave. But yeah, like I said, I'm giving myself a two week uh, time frame to get everything done. And I'm going to do another video, an after video. 
and I'm gonna do I'm still gonna do the after video of the other property if you didn't look at it um, it's called tenants moved out so what's next please check that out so you can see the before video on that property and I'm gonna do like I said an after on that one as well so stay tuned thanks for watching and uh, I see you guys soon when everything's done Yo, <laughs> I think I'm doing it right. Wait, look, I got this from Lowe's. Focus, a trim puller, right? So I said, all you had to do was put this at the top, use a hammer, and it'll come right off. Sound good, but then I did this. Oh God, I should have waited on my husband. Jesus, it's just this though. I gotta figure out how to fix that. Oh my God, ugh. But the rest of the wall's good. Whew, Lord Jesus, stay tuned. All right, the next wall. I think I'm getting the hang of it. There's no holes in this one. <laughs> So, I mean, if this does not prove that your girl don't know what she be doing.
Hey you guys, I kind of finished up for the day or night rather. It's kind of, I think it's like, what time is it? 11 o'clock at night right now. But I did get a lot of work done over at the property. I'm really, really excited of how it's gonna come out. It's really coming together. I cannot wait for you guys to see the final video, the final walkthrough of this home before I put it on the market. Uh, I will say that at the end of it, once it sells, I'm going to tell you guys everything. I'm going to tell you how much I originally paid for the home, how much was left on the loan, the offers that I got, whether I paid any closing costs or any type of fees. I want to go through A through Z. I want a lot of people to be prepared because it's this stuff people don't talk about. Like They say, oh, you got a VA loan. This is going to be easy. You don't have to put nothing down. Wrong. Even as a, a seller, there's a lot There's a lot that, that's involved in this. And I really want to talk to you guys about it. So like I said, when it's sold, I'm telling everything. What was left on the loan, what I got for the house, what I walked away with. Check in hand will be on the very last video. So stay tuned, you guys. You don't want to miss it.